What's up y'all, it's Will Love, and today I'm bringing you a Tesla Solar Review. All right, let's get into it. Should you go solar? That depends on where you live, average peak sunlight hours, and do you want to reduce your carbon footprint? My solar panels were installed a month and a half ago, and here's what our experience was like using Tesla. I was approved for my solar loan at the beginning of August, and the install was completed on November 22nd, so roughly three months from start to finish. I ordered an 11.56 kilowatt system with three power walls. On the first day of installation, I was told there was an error with the solar design, and we would need to remove seven panels to fit on the roof. It's kind of sucked and it did reduce the system size to a 9.11 kilowatt system. I also did choose to remove an additional power wall since we would be generating less energy during the day. Now, installation of the solar panels took two days and on the second day, the power wall took it about five hours. We did need to turn the power off for about 30 minutes, but after that, they powered on the system and we were off to being self-sufficient. Now, how much did we pay? The original total was $45,000. After dropping the seven panels and the power wall, we were now on the hook for $35,000. Now, what did we get? Powerwall Plus, 13.56 kilowatt hour capacity, 97.5 efficient inverter, with a 10 year warranty on that battery. 27 325 watt solar panels that come with a 25 year warranty. The system size is actually a perfect fit for my family's energy usage. Our bill before the panels was about $180 a month. Now we're basically neutral. Even in the month of December, my bill is estimated to be under $10. We are still waiting for the electric company to approve our system so we can start selling energy back to the grid, further offsetting our bill. What are the pros and cons of having solar? This solar system has given me energy independence, peace of mind in the case of hurricanes or just power outages in general, and reducing my carbon footprint. The only con I could think of is being at the mercy of the weather. So depending on where you are, this could deter you from using solar. Now let's talk about the app. It's flawless. Real-time statistics on energy consumption and production, the amount of control you have is fire. There's settings for storm watch mode that will basically charge the battery from the grid when the system is expecting an incoming storm. You can also go off the grid entirely with the touch of a button. But the analytics are really the icing on the cake for me. Knowing how you're consuming any time of the day really helps to continue optimizing energy usage. It's now very easy to notice when we're wasting energy. So would I recommend Tesla Solar? Absolutely. From the order process to job completion, it has been an amazing process and product thus far. Now, if you're interested in Tesla Solar, check my description for my referral link and you can earn up to 500 bucks after activating your system. Well, that's it for me today. If y'all enjoyed this video and would like to help me out, drop me a like and subscribe. All right, be easy out there.